Welcome to Ucanic. In this video we're going to take a look at how to replace the sway bar bushing on a Mercedes. Here we have a 2011 Mercedes-Benz R350. But this setup is very common for most Mercedes. They all have a sway bar and they all have these sway bar bushings that, that typically go bad around the 100,000 mile mark. Let's take a closer look. So you can see the sway bar bushing is right here and that's what usually goes bad. The passenger side usually goes bad um, first but you should replace those both at the same time. Now one thing to keep in mind is that sway bar links also, uh, it's recommended to replace them. They do not fail quite as frequently as the sway bar bushing but if you're doing that it's recommended to replace the sway bar links at the same time. Uh, common symptoms of uh, bad sway bar bushing on Mercedes, it's uh, steering feels loose, suspension feels loose. When you're driving down the road and you hit a pothole, uh, you feel the whole suspension in here clunking noise from the front end. Now, that's not to say that that's always going to be the sway bar bushing. Other things to keep in mind is that you have bushings for the lower control arms and some models have upper control arms, like in this case we do. But the lower uh, control arm bushings can also go bad. Uh, we just replaced the rear one and this one, but they don't usually go back quite as bad. Uh, ball joints as well can be the issue, but that is pretty common and it's very easy to replace. So we're going to take a closer look at how to replace it. So you can see the sway bar bushing right here. And in order to remove it, the first thing you'll need to do is to raise the vehicle and support it with jack stands. Um, do not get under the car if you don't have that supported with jack stand in addition to the jack and if you're removing a wheel uh, you don't need to to replace these rubber bushings but if in case you, you had to do because of some other work just slide the wheel under the vehicle just in the worst case scenario if the vehicle does fall is gonna fall on that wheel not on you um, other thing that you need to do is make sure you have have transmission in park and also have the parking brakes engaged so once the vehicle is secure the next thing is you need to get under the car and remove the splash shield that big plastic piece right down here uh, you you have to you have a front one you have one right under the engine so remove the front one first and then remove the one under the engine just so you have enough room here so that needs to come off and then once you have done that uh, the next thing that you need to do is uh, spray some penetrating oil on these bolts because they do get rusted and then wait 15 minutes after you have waited, you want to come back here, and in this case, we're going to use a little uh, screwdriver to remove this dirt that has built up here. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get to this bolt. We just need to break that dirt off to expose the bolt. Okay, so that all that dirt is off. So both bolts here, these are exposed. Um, we'll remove these two bolts first. But then the sway bar bushing still stay on the sway bar. And so the next step would be to remove these bolts that secure the bushing to the sway bar here. And um, once you do that, then you can go ahead and replace these. One thing to point out is that if you do raise up the vehicle on just one side, you might notice that this uh, sway bar, or sometimes called a torsion bar as well, it's really pushed up. Um, it's pushed up because the vehicle is turned to the side. So what you'll need to do is, um, you either can use um, a jack and raise the vehicle on the other side. What that will do is they'll start to bring this down so you have room to replace these two. And also if this is coming down too far, for example, you can simply just use a jack right here uh, and then lift this up a little bit. Or again, you can um, level the vehicle, raise it on the opposite side and that should bring this sway bar here uh, to the position where you can easily replace these. So we're going to get started, so for more help, uh, make sure to follow our step-by-step -step guide. Uh, make sure you do torque these bolts, and we should have these torque values in our step-by-step -step guide again. So follow that for more help, and if you have any questions. And one other thing to note, in this case, we have these bolts here. These bolts um, to the frame are 18 millimeter. So you're going to remove this, th these bolts here for the way we're brushing themselves. These are um, 13 millimeter, and you might need to kind of hold them on the back because they'll probably start to spin. Um, so use a wrench on the back. But that's it. Let's get started. In order to get these bolts loose, you might need to use a breaker bar. They're all very tight.
So we're gonna need to add, use a wrench on the back to hold this bolt and then we're going to loosen the nut, otherwise it's just gonna spin. the bolt and shut off and we'll repeat the procedure for the upper bolt as well so there is the lower bushing and then in, in this case it's not really too bad you can see as they get worse um, there's a lot of play and gap, big gap between the bushing and the sway bar, um, but it, as you can see here, it, it's not too bad. Now they, they, they can seem like they're fine, like in this case you can see this one has started to separate here. They can seem like they're fine, but they're starting to wear, so keep that in mind too. As you can see, see this upper one is totally separated. Take the new bushing, we put the upper one first, we just need to slide it. Uh, we'll take the next one. Just line that up and they're just, both sides are the same so it doesn't really matter which side you put it up on top. Next we're going to need to put the bracket on, tighten up these bolts, um, do pay attention to this bracket just in case uh, on some models it might only go in one direction meaning like the front will have to be this way. You can see this, uh, this one is symmetrical so it doesn't really matter. And again here you might notice that um, these bolts they're not too long so they because this sway bar might be a little bit down you might have to use a jack here to just push that a little bit in order to get these threads these bolts started these bolts here you want to thread these by hand you don't want to use any power tools very easy to just cross thread and ruin those threads. So all we need to do now is tighten these bolts, then torque them, and then put back the splash shield. Of course, after you replace the other side as well. Replacing the sway bar bushings on a Mercedes is relatively easy, actually, and uh, you, it will take about 30 to 45 minutes per side. Uh, the maximum, most likely, is going to take you is two hours, even if you're doing it for the first time. So a very easy DIY job makes a huge difference. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll finish this up.